Watch me jump over this gap. Yeah, and now I'm gonna run around up here and drop down here. <laughs> Nailed it. Remember what happened to your brother? You don't want to end up like him. Oh yeah, no, Derek was dead from the neck up, Mum. He never had what it takes to be a parkour goat champion. I'm gonna go up here and across this stone bridge. <laughs> around here and <laughs> up here and down again. Why can't you choose a safer choice of hobby like video games? Oh, because none of the girls in my class like goats that play video games. They want goats with parkour skills. Oh, you're trying to get a girlfriend? Ooh. Oh, if you got to give me crap, just piss off, Mum. Why do you have to be watching anyway, you bloody helicopter parent? Do you want me to get your father? His parkour skills were pretty good back in the day. Nah, screw that silly old bastard. I am the real goat. Welcome to the ocean. Here we got dolphins doing dolphiny things. They're all smug about it. They're like, woo, yeah, we're dolphins. We're free. We get to do whatever we want. Minimal responsibility. Here comes a paddleboarder looking to pass. Oh, he got fucked on by the dolphin. That was a solid hip and shoulder. Now nah, that's legal. That's a fair bump. If I was umpiring, I'd be okay with this. He has to flap his little flippers to get some extra hang time. He's like, hey buddy, you're not meant to be here. Get out of my house. Boom shakalaka, sensational. The old don't argue from a bloody dolphin. Oceanic mammal versus ground dwelling mammal. What a time to be alive. Anyway, now this fucker is like, where's my board? I need to get my board. Somehow he's got his bucket hat on still. I reckon he's gonna get a call from the project on channel 10. There's questions that need answering here. There's questions. Oi, what did you just type on the internet about climate change? I said it's a load of shit. Oh, you know what else is a load of shit? What? Your face. My face? Your face is a load of shit. Nah, that's what. Nah, fuck you. Ah, oh, nah, fuck you. Nah, you're just wrong. Nah, you're wrong. Oh, you're wrong, huh? Educate yourself. You educate yourself. You educate yourself. You don't even have a source. I have sources. Oh, where's your source? Where's a link? I'll send you a link. Send it then. I'll send you a link. Stop talking about it and send it. Oh, what did you just say about immigration? Lots of things. You got some opinions on immigration? Yeah, I got opinions. I think we should let some immigrants no, in. No, I don't think we should fucking let anyone in. Well, let's agree to disagree. I'm gonna play with my toy. I'm gonna play with my toy as well. Whatever, I can't hear you. You're blocked. You're blocked. I blocked you first. No, I blocked no, you first. No, I blocked you first, you, you motherfucker. You, you didn't block me. Block me fuck first. you. I blocked you first. Oh, uh, whatever. You got triggered. Oh, well, not really. No, you're triggered. No, I think you're triggered. Oh, you're a lefty liberal snowflake cuck. Oh, you're alt right fucking motherfucker. You wanna try and tell me about vaccinations? Yeah, I'll tell you, you about, about fucking about about vaccinations. Herd immunity. Fuck your face. Herd immunity. Fuck your face. Herd immunity. Fuck you. Nah, nah, fuck you. Fuck your face. Fuck your face. I'm going. I'm going. I've got things to do. I've got things to do as well. No, I do. I've got a job. I've got a job. I've got a family. Nice profile picture. I bet you don't. Nice profile picture. You don't. I don't have a family. I can't stick around all day because of overpopulation. We don't agree. No, we don't agree. We don't agree. We don't agree. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're probably a cyclist. You're a cyclist. I reckon you're a vegan. Oh, I think you're a vegan. You're a vegan. You're a triggered feminist. Shit, I'm late for work. How you going, you big bloody beautiful bastards? Here's me face. Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. I'm going to assume most of you know what a VPN is in this day and age, and I recommend Nord. They're currently doing 75% off on a three-year subscription if you use the link in the post description below, that is, nordvpn.com slash Aussieman, and use the code Aussieman. You get a free month as well. Here's why Nord was good for me. I used it just recently, today. I used it today. I was on the YouTube and I was like, oh, what are me favorite fucking YouTubers up to? I, I was on Gus Johnson's channel and uh, in his little community tab, he's like, oh, hey everyone, here's me new series with Comedy Central. Here's the first episode of the new low budget series. Well, I, I mean, uh, I'd already decided I was gonna click. I was like, yeah, give it to me, Gus. And I, I clicked the link and look at that, bam, video unavailable. Geo-blocked. Geo-blocked by Comedy Central. So I'm like, well, what's an Aussie man to do? I fire up me NordVPN and I bloody reroute my DNS and me internet protocol address to the US. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm in the USA, aren't I? That's where I'm located. And now I'm American man, American man reviews. I give YouTube a refresh and I'm in, access granted. I can watch Gus's series on Comedy Central, so there you go. That was genuinely handy. It worked quickly for me and uh, I was happy. I was happy with the product. I don't know if what I'm telling you to do is illegal, but anyway, that's how I used it. The link is in the post description below, nordvpn.com slash Aussie man. 
Yeah. Ah, oh, it's good to have a sponsor. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You have the ability. You just need the motivation. Spread those little wings. Spread the shit out of them and fly away. You can do it. Fuck yes! I can't explain it, but I get a deep satisfaction from watching this. Consider this an inspirational video. Every time you feel like you can't accomplish something, remind yourself that these bugs are born with awkward, cumbersome bodies, but they can still fly through the fucking air, no worries. She's like, see ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. People reckon lions, wolves, and whales are majestic as fuck. Here's an unpopular opinion. They're overrated. Bugs. Bugs is where the party is at. This dickhead was bullied for having long legs, but it doesn't keep him down. Nothing keeps him down. Deploy wings. Flappy, flap, flap, flap. Lift off. Don't look back. None of them look back. Unless there's a lesson to learn or a predator. Welcome to fight day. Here we have Jack Sparrow on the left and that skinny pirate from Captain Phillips on the right. The Sheila is like, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four. I declare a plank war and it's official. Let the game begin. This person is like a tennis umpire in a high chair. Jack Sparrow serves first. The skinny pirate returns it. That Sheila yells, fuck you, and gets involved. Sparrow comes to the net looking for a drop shot. Bam, what a ripper. There's a broom. She she ran out of that shed like she'd been to the cornucopia in the Hunger Games, found a new weapon and shit. Now she's going back to look for more. The broom is immediately returned. The skinny pirate says, look at me, I'm the captain now. Fuck me sideways three times. That is an absolute rocket. He returns to the cornucopia. Sparrow is behind the baseline. Oh, that forehand was a piece of shit. But it looks like his opponent has ran away. He might win this purely through endurance. The chair umpire says, advantage Sparrow, and yeah, I think he's got the W. He's approaching the net one more time, and whammy! Look at that, game, set, match, and championship point. Give this bloke all of the prize money. This Jack Russell reckons it can bully Stanley the guinea fowl, but Stan says, you want a piece of me? I'll give you a fucking piece of me. I may look round and slow. I may appear to be cumbersome and comical. I am a fucking bullet though, mate. Superman is slow compared to me. Look at him step on the accelerator. Crikey. How is guinea fowl not a supercar brand name? Lamborghini, Ferrari, bugger that. I want to drive a guinea fowl brand. He is smart as well. Look at him act like he's giving up. Standing there all casual. Nah, it was a fucking trick. <laughs> he slows down again. Another fucking trick. He's fair dinkum like the Terminator. He doesn't need food or sleep. He just keeps chasing you and stressing you out. Welcome to American football. There's 10 seconds on the clock. The quarterback says fuck it and does a big ass throw. Oh, that wanker caught it. They've taken this straight out of my Madden 99 playbook on N64. It's a touchdown. I used to do this all the time. Is he a hero? Is this guy now an all-American hero? I think he's a fair dinkum fucking hero. His opponents are clearly a couple of losers. <laughs> no one in America likes a fucking loser. So yeah, nah, he's definitely the hero here. This moment is going to be historic. The whole world is watching, or at least most, of Minnesota. Personally, I think this is as memorable as that time Dawson chucked the ball to his mate Tweeter, who caught it, got bumped, and desperately threw it over to Billy Bob. Billy Bob fucking caught it. Dawson yelled, run, you dickhead. And then everyone watched blokes bouncing off of Billy Bob until he got to the end zone and won the fucking game. That was a ripper NFL moment. There's also that time the Titans won at the last second. This Vikings victory is up there with that. Oh, oh, and who could forget that time Willie Beeman took a leap of faith and stage dived into everyone. Coach Tony D'Amato was shitting himself. His teammates were like, you better not have dropped it, Willie. But yeah, no, yeah, all good. That was a massive win. I bet you wankers didn't know that I knew so much about NFL. I'm being a warthog out in the bush. I'm being a warthog out in the bush. Which direction did I come from? Was it down there? No, 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 back up, back up, back up. Where the fuck am I? Which suburb am I in? I thought the bus stopped down here, but no, that shrub does not look familiar. Back up, back up, back up. I'm just gonna have to pick a direction. Look, I'm a warthog, I know where I'm going. Down here, hey? Oh, fuck me! Ooh!
language, mate. That was so rude. Look at the trail of poo he left behind. Crikey. It's still going. Yeah, we're trying to rest here. Oh, I can smell it. Filthy, filthy animal. Shall I chase him and rip him to shreds? Nah, I wouldn't bother. Yeah, I never feel good after eating a warthog. Yeah. I feel cheap and nasty. Let's just go back to sleep. Bam! <laughs> you might relate to the little bugs. Or the ugly as fuck bugs. Or the glamorous, shiny bugs who look like they have it all figured out and everything is easy for them. Perhaps you're a black bug. Or a brown bug. Or a bloody green bug with white armpits. It honestly doesn't matter. There's a fat fucking bug. As long as you're working on being the best bug you can be, then you're gonna soar through the sky. Look at him, launching to infinity and beyond. Looking forward, moving up. Dodging danger, replanning, rethinking, pausing, and fly. Every creature on Earth is built like a supercar. We just don't know it until we find the keys. Have you found your keys? And fly. Yes, fly. There's a ladybird. She's ready for liftoff. And fly. You can do it, you motherfucker. Yes, you can. Fly. If not today, then when? If not tomorrow, then when? Just quit your job. Quit it if you want to and fly away. <laughs> this inspirational video is not guaranteed to work. Results vary from individual to individual.